Margaret Wentworth is the Poet Laureate for the state of South Carolina. At an inauguration, normally a poet would speak. Uh, the incoming, recoming, re-entering Nikki Haley has decided that no, Poet Laureate will not have the opportunity to speak. I read what she wrote. As Paul Gabrini said this morning, she wrote it for us. That's why we were standing out there at the Stop the Violence rally. Um, one river, one boat. I know there's something better down the road. I'm Elizabeth Alexander. Because our history is a knot we try to unravel while others try to tighten it, we tire easily and fray the cords that bind us. The cord is a slow-moving river, spiraling across the land in a succession of S's splintering near the sea. Picture us all crowded onto a boat at the last bend in the river. Watch children stepping off the school bus, parents late for work, grandparents fishing for favorite memories, teachers tapping their desks with red pens, firemen suiting up to save us, nurses making rounds, barristers grinding coffee beans, dock workers unloading apartment-sized containers of computers and toys from factories across the sea. Each morning, a different veteran stands at the base of the bridge holding a cardboard sign with misspelled words and an empty cup. In fields at daybreak, rows of migrant farm workers standing on ladders break open iced peach blossoms, their breath rising and resting above the frozen fields like clouds. A John boat drifts down the river. Inside, a small boy lies on his back. Hand laced behind his head, he watches. Stars fade from the sky and dreams. Consider the prophet John calling us from the edge of the wilderness to name the harm that has been done to make it plain and enter the river and rise. It is not about asking for forgiveness. It is not about bowing our heads in shame because it all begins and ends here. All workers, while workers unearth trenches at Gadsden's Wharf where 100,000 Africans were imprisoned within brick walls awaiting auction, death, or worse where the dead were thrown into the water and the river clogged with coughs has kept centuries of silence. It is time to gather at the water's edge and toss wreaths into this watery grave. And it is time to praise the judge who cleared George Stinney's name. Seventy years after the fact we honor him, we pray. Here where the Confederate flag still flies beside the state house, haunted by our past, conflicted about the future. At the heart of it, we are at war with ourselves, huddled together on this boat, handed down to us, stuck at the last bend of a wide river splintering near the sea. By Marjorie Wentworth. Personally, I think the world need to hear it. So Miss Wentworth, if you don't mind, I put voice to your words. People will hear it. It's impactful. It's strong. Thank you.